Listen, I blazing. Actually, scratch that. I'm gonna give you all the government. I Gilbert. Ironically, what? social media. Twitter is either filled with depressed man children or overly intelligent kids who complain about their depressing life 24 7. Snapchat is infested with self conscious people who take selfies of themselves 24 7 as if it's their full time job. And listen, Instagram is this sweaty cocoon filled with insecurity left and right. Listen, I just hate social media. I hate, I hate it all. I hate it all, bro. But there's just, this, there's just this one social media platform I hate more than all the other cringy platforms, all right? And this platform, this platform's name is Discord. I used to make Discord videos talking about pedos, incest, gangs, simps, and so much more on Discord. And after joining all these communities, I realized this app is just weird. Now listen, I, I gotta be real with you guys. I'm about to get deep. There's three monumental things I just can't stand in this world, and one of them is meaningless internet drama. I challenge you to go to discord.org, click on servers, then click on the community tag, and find a server with around a thousand people in it. Join it, then search inside of the server you found something along the lines of expose or ban. And listen, you will inevitably find a long list of pointless, useless drama nobody cares about in the real world. This is what Discord is for the most part a nest of internet addicted children and middle-aged men and women all huddling around a fire of just pointless drama like yo do you know how many times people would dm me their problems with other people inside these community servers back when i was 15 years old do you know what i would tell these people i would tell them to just shut up and go outside because no one cares bro no one cares. like yo there's some people out there who actually don't know there's a logout button on discord like this isn't sao jimmy all right you can actually log out. Y'all remember the simple times where people would just log on Discord with the intention of just playing a game with a group of friends. And those days are literally over now. Now there's just this disgusting flock of dating servers left and right that compose of kids who have like a warped perception of what reality is really like. And then we got pedophiles literally in their DMs grooming these kids as you watch this very video. I say, I want to, but I'm only 14. Do you mind with the pensive broken heart emoji? Then the caveman completely dodges that reply and says, show me your tits. I say, do you not care I'm 14? And he says, no. And don't even get me started on the incest. If he liked incest. And then he says, yeah. yeah. Horrific. There's drug addicts like this guy with the, the most incredible ego as well. Every server has the pedophile, the ego with an inflated ego, the insecure e-boy with no future, the incel discord mod with heavy acne, the potential school threat, the e-daters who are overly transparent, the furry, and I honestly just want no part in it. Whenever someone asks me to join their discord server, I'm literally just going to send this video straight to their DM that I don't want to join. And by the way, guys, I have a Patreon where I post like more videos like guides and like extra videos you can find in there. It's like some perks that as well. So if you want to support a young, a young grinder, you know what I'm saying? It's only $3. It starts at $3. You want to support me? Go ahead and do that. If not, I understand. But you should support. <laughs> that being said, man, I'm hungry. I need to go eat. And I'm out, man. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.